Okay, guys, let's take a look here at this problem. Um, I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel to um, to work this problem here just to show you. And uh, as you get out to the business world, you will become quite familiar with Microsoft Excel. So let's take a look here. Uh, this question um, is, is wants us to uh, focus on the accounting equation. Remember, what is the accounting equation? It's assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, right? So remember that. Always has to be in balance. The total of our assets will always equal our liabilities plus owner's equity. Um, and every transaction that we enter is going to um, maintain the integrity of that equation. So assets are always going to equal liabilities plus owner's equity. <clears throat> if that equation seems a little odd to you, think about it this way. Um, if think about all the assets that you have, if you subtract out what you owe others, what you're left with is your owner's equity. Okay, so assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. The mathematics works out the same way: assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. Um, and so we take a look here, and we see that the Dollar Tree. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Dollar T. It says here. Um, has assets of 2036 and liabilities of $783 and it's our job to determine the stockholders equity of each company. Um, let me go on and move this down here to give us a little more space. So let's take a look here. Owners equity. So assets, what does it say down here? Assets equals liabilities plus owners equity. Okay, so also I have also uh, have a different derivative of the accounting equation. It's that assets minus liabilities equal owner's equity. So if we said our assets minus our liabilities, that gives us $1,253 for our owner's equity. And that is the correct answer. Okay, same thing over here. Assets of $44,106 for Target Corporation and liabilities of $30,394. So the total of all the resources they have, all their assets, is $44,106. And the liabilities here, these are um, claims to resources, things like uh, accounts payable, debt, things of that nature. So if you look at the total amount here, and by the way, these are millions. If you look at the total amount of the assets, if we subtract out the liabilities, well, that's going to give us... Um, our owner's equity. Okay, now in using Microsoft Excel, I could go here and retype the same thing. I could say equals this cell, which is K19 minus, or you know, simply I can come over here and copy the formula from this cell and paste it into here. And either way we do it, we get 1,000, I'm sorry, 13,000. $712 is the amount of our owner's equity. And that's correct, right? And so you'll see as we work through some of these videos, Microsoft Excel really makes it easy to, uh, to summarize and to tally and multiply and divide. And it, um, if you end up in the business world somewhere, uh, you're really going to become familiar with this. So if you're not familiar with Microsoft Excel, you, know, you might want to try using this to help you as you're working through some of your homework problems, and you'll, you'll probably find that it'll, it'll help you be a little more efficient in working through things. Okay, let's take a look at a, another problem now. Okay, guys, let's focus here on example, or I'm sorry, exercise 1-6 here in the middle of the page. Ignore this down at the bottom. Okay, so it says determining the missing amount for each of the following. Here's our accounting equation, guys, right? Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Well, we don't know what our assets are here, but we know that our liabilities are 150000 and our equity is 450000 If our assets are equal to our liabilities plus our owner's equity, that means we can simply add these two guys together here, can't we? 150000 plus 450000 gives us 600,000. So that's what the answer is here for assets. We're solving for X here. That's the missing amount. Now, if we get to B here, same thing. Assets always has to equal our liabilities plus owner's equity. Okay, so if we have $275,000 of assets and we have equity of 50,000, 
Remember, we have our, we can think of it this way. Our assets minus our liabilities equals our equity. Or we can think of it this way. Our equity plus what amount of liabilities will give us $275,000? The answer to that is $225,000. Okay, for C here, we have $615,000 of assets. And once again, our liabilities uh, in, our, in our owner's equity are going to be added together to give us this amount. That's one way to solve this problem. There's a couple of different ways to solve for X, um, which is the owner's equity in this problem. But if we know that our liabilities plus what amount gives us $615,000? The total amount you'll find is $425,000. Okay, so we're seeing here assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Now you can manipulate the equation and, and, and say assets minus liabilities equals stockholders equity too if that helps you think of things better. But um, you know when you're out in the real world everybody no matter what you're doing marketing or finance definitely accounting people are going to expect you to know this accounting equation. There's some things you just have to commit to memory. Okay let's take a look here exercise 1-8. Let's take a look here assets liabilities stockholder equity items. It says indicate whether each of the following is identified with being an asset, a liability, or stockholders equity. Okay, what is cash? Cash is a resource, right? It's gonna it's gonna provide a future benefit to the company. So cash of course is an asset. Now remember expenses decrease stockholders equity. So wages expense that's going to be related to stockholders' equity, right? It's going to reduce retained earnings. Accounts payable. An account payable is an amount that we owe somebody. Perhaps we have a supplier and, um, and we receive goods from them or, or inventory or parts or, or supplies, but we've yet to pay them. So that is considered a liability. Fees earned. Fees earned from from whatever it is that we're doing to to generate money that is considered revenue which increases our stockholders equity doesn't it okay guys and then we have supplies number five supplies those are things that we've uh, we've purchased ultimately they will, will end up being expensed as we consume them but let's say we bought enough supplies to last a couple couple years here right so we have a, a you know a lot of paper um, things like that. We bought a whole lot of these supplies. They're going to last a while. Those are an asset. And of course, land is also an asset, right? So if we had buildings on here, equipment, um, accounts receivable, all of those are assets.